Don, when do you think you're going to pick these grapes then? They're looking pretty ripe. Uh, we started uh, a couple days ago, mm -hmm. and um, we will finish in the next three or four days. Uh, it's going to be hopefully an outstanding uh, vintage. Beautiful. I'm here with Don Bryant of Bryant Family Vineyards in their hillside vineyards of pure Cabernet Sauvignon, little Petit Verdot as well. Behind us is Lake Hennessy, beautiful area making balanced, rich and structured wines. Today we're going to taste their 2006 and 2007. Let's go taste. Good. Looking forward to it. So you're a big fan of 2007. So we're starting with the 2006 then. That's right. Wow, well, right away beautiful aromas of dark fruits. Oh, Even with sort of a mushroom sort of like you can mm -hmm. like you're you just we were just walking in the vineyards it's almost like you could smell the soil. The aroma is as powerful as the wine. Yeah. <clears throat> and you know there are people who just can't drink because of some uh, illness. Mm -hmm. They love to smoke, to uh, you know have an aroma of this um, of these wines. Whoa. Ah. Oh. 206 the fruits beautiful. It's just pinpointed with blackberries and currants but not overly you know uh, what's the word uh, not over the top it's really pinpointed and balanced and beautiful with super fine sort of juicy ripe tannins mm. beautiful what are you looking for when you're making your wines are you looking for a little bit more reserve style right because you know sometimes <clears throat> Napa Valley wines can be very very uh, extravagant and even over the top you know o overly opulent they can be. Uh, some of them, uh, it just depends. You take uh, the 1996 and the 1997. The uh, 97 is so large and so big that it really took 11 or 12 years for me to think it was ready to drink. But 96, in many ways, it tastes uh, so much in balance that when I first tasted it out of the barrel, I wanted to actually have a bottle of it then That's and great. take it to the restaurant because the balance was so great. And, uh, and many times, well, 90, 97 is such a famous uh, vintage, I many times prefer a 96 because it's more of a, of a, of a total uh, balanced and uh, a kind of a, a Bordeaux type of uh, mm -hmm. blend. But it's not a blend. It's 100% Cabernet Sauvignon. That's right. It's always been 100% Cabernet, right? Right. But when you were beginning, did you, were you using uh, the great chateaus of Bordeaux sort of as a model? What were you thinking? You know, I wanted, I wanted to, uh, to really make a wine that tasted like the vineyard. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and we're, I think if anything that uh, people like about our wine, it's one of the a few wines, I think, that really demonstrates the, the vineyard and everybody knows where it is when you taste it because it's a consistent kind of, of, of taste. So um, I don't think that I'm, I'm interested in doing a, a blend, mm -hmm. but you know, even a, a California blend is never going to be like a Bordeaux blend because the wines are so different. That's true. So, uh, and that's another project we're starting right now. But <clears throat> I just love this big wine. And uh, we're very, very lucky. It's the vineyard. It's certainly not the owner. It's the vineyard and a, and a good vineyard manager and, uh, and then a winemaker who knows how to put it together. I love the 2007, how it's so dense, but then it's very tight and compacted. You know, it's not at all jammy. It's just really wonderfully fruity and then velvety rich tannins and a long, long finish. It's that compactedness, that tightness mm. that really makes it for me. Because sometimes California cabs can be big and rich but they're sort of loose. It's sort of like a, you know, someone wearing a loosely fitted suit or something. This is just perfectly tailored. <laughs> kind of out of control sometimes, yeah. right? Yeah. And, um, but it's nice when the, you get the, the big Cabernet, um, the fruit, and let it blend in a, in a, in a, with the tannins. And if you're lucky enough that they blend together um, uh, with each other, then you've really got something down the road. Superb structure. Don, fascinating tasting. I love the way that your wines can be so intensely fruity, but at the same time, they can be so balanced and compacted. They don't, they're not at all jammy. In fact, they're, they're just beautifully 
uh, intense with this wonderful way of, of keeping it all in harmony. And I think that that, I mean, the vineyards, it has to be where you are hillside, a little bit cooler, where you get those ripe fruit characters, but at the same time, it remains fresh with really balanced, uh, fine tannins. Thank you. So the 2006 perfumed, spicy blackberries, currants, even a hint of mushrooms, and it's full and silky with ripe, juicy tannins, light vanilla bean from the wood, dark chocolate from the wood. It'll be better in 2014. I'm 95 points on that. That's mm. clearly a classic wine. Beautiful, mm. all there. Uh, tasting it, I was tempted to uh, even drink it now because it's a little bit austere. Probably it'll soften with a couple years, mm. but it's already so good. I'm just you know mm. thinking about a grilled steak with that. Then we go to the 2007, clearly a step up. The 2007 has a lot of the structure uh, and style of the 2006, but it just has more fruit and opulence to it. Still very balanced and harmonious, not jammy in any way, but such purity, such amazing fruit and great intensity. I'm 98 points with that. that sounds great to me. Gorgeous Thank wine. you very much. No, no, really. <laughs> Thank you, really amazing wine. And uh, I, I mean, it's just, it's, I'm almost speechless that I love it. Uh, I would give it another five or six years of bottle age before drinking, starting to drink, but it's a wine that has a long life ahead of it.